Hello everyone, I'm Wolf, and I'm here to help you take your first steps into Eternal Return. Eternal Return is a battle royale game where 18 players brawl on Lumia Island to become the last remaining survivor or team. Unlike other battle royales, Eternal Return uses MOBA-style game mechanics, meaning usually three basic skills and one ultimate skill. Eternal Return has its own special additional skill called a weapon skill, but more on that later. There are currently a total of 38 playable characters in Eternal Return, with new characters being added very frequently, often every two weeks. So without further ado, let's get right into Lumia Island. In Eternal Return, you gain experience through exploring, hunting, crafting, and fighting. Collect loot and materials around Lumia Island to gear up your character. Boxes that you haven't opened will have a clear outline, so you'll know which boxes you haven't checked yet. You can also gain experience and loot by hunting wild animals, such as chickens, bats, wolves, wild dogs, and bears. Each animal camp has a respawn timer after it's killed, and you can find where these camps spawn by pressing the M key. Power up your character by crafting stronger items with materials collected from boxes and wild animals. Items that you can currently craft are displayed in the upper right corner of the inventory window. Targeted items will always be marked with the yellow triangle. For beginners, focus on the yellow triangles for now. After you've finished crafting all your items and armor, then it's time to fight. Slaying enemy players will give you a ton of experience and access to all their loot. Alright, let's take a closer look at the systems that make Eternal Return unique. The core strategy in Eternal Return is to create the most efficient route to craft your targeted build while working with limited resources. Different materials can be found in different areas. Check which items can be found where, and plan out a route to pick them up as fast as possible. For example, finishing your weapon faster than other players can snowball you straight into victory. The Saved Plan system will be your best friend while navigating around Lumia Island. When you start the game, after selecting a saved plan, the materials you need from each area are displayed in the lower right corner. When you open a box, materials you need will be marked with a yellow triangle. Do you hate clicking? Don't worry, there's also an auto-loot system. Materials will be automatically looted after a second or so. You can also make your own plan by targeting your desired items and routing the set of areas to travel to. If you think you found a strong route, share it with your friends. If you're not sure how to plan out your route, try importing a community-made shared plan. After trying it out, you can recommend the shared plan to other players as well. Each character in Eternal Return has a set of weapon types they can wield. For example, Razi uses a pistol and Sua uses a hammer. Some characters can wield more than one type of weapon. Aya can use a pistol, assault rifle, or sniper rifle. Also, one weapon type may be shared among multiple characters. For example, there are three characters at the moment who can all use hammers, Sua, Magnus, and Eleven. For characters with multiple weapon types, you can choose which basic weapon they'll start with when they spawn. The weapon skill on your D key will also depend on the currently equipped weapon type. Each weapon skill has a distinct effect that is meant to complement the playstyles of the characters who can equip that weapon. Weapon skills are powerful tools that can easily turn the tide in close battles, so they can only be learned after reaching level 7 Weapon Mastery. One more thing to mention. Unlike other MOBAs, each equipment slot in Eternal Return has a designated type, so unfortunately, you won't be able to equip two different shoes at the same time, even if you do have two feet. We have now covered the basics. Try heading to Lumia Island to show the other players what you've got. If you already know the basics, or maybe your last game didn't go so well, I recommend checking out the Advanced Guide. 